Heat rash is common in infants and children, and whilst it can be uncomfortable, it's usually harmless. It usually gets better on its own after a few days, and in this video, we'll take a look at some clinical photos of heat rash to hopefully help you better recognize it, as well as discuss things that you could do at home to help your baby, as well as things to prevent it. We'll also cover some cases when you should consider seeing a health provider. So in terms of causes, heat rash is usually caused by excessive sweating. Sweat glands get blocked and the trapped sweat leads to a rash developing a few days later. Babies often get heat rash because they can't control their temperature as well as adults and children, but heat rash can affect anyone of any age. Whilst it can appear anywhere on the body, it's not contagious, meaning that you won't catch it from your baby. In terms of symptoms of heat rash, well, the symptoms are usually small raised spots, an itchy prickly feeling, as well as mild swelling. The rash often looks red, but on black or brown skin, the spots might be gray or white. And we'll take a look at some examples of this now. So how can you treat and prevent heat rash? Well, the main thing to do is keep your child's skin cool so that they don't sweat and irritate the rash. To keep your child's skin cool and to try and prevent heat rash, you should try dress them in loose cotton clothing. And if you're in a hot environment, have your child wear as few layers of clothing as possible. Use lightweight cotton bedding and make sure that they are properly hydrated. It's also worth trying to put your child in a cool environment. Now, if despite all of these things, they go on and develop heat rash, there are a few things that you can do. First of all, give them a cool bath and apply a cool compress, such as a clean washcloth dipped in cool water to the rash every 30 minutes for a few hours. It's then important to try loosen your child's nappy or diaper if it rubs against the rash area. If they are irritated or the rash is bothering them, then a pharmacist might recommend calamine lotion. Finally, when should you consider seeing a health provider? Well, if your child has got a rash and any of the following features in red, you should seek urgent medical attention, or if they've got any of the features in orange, you should speak to a health professional on the same day. In general, if you've got any concerns about your baby or child, it's always better to speak to your own health provider. Unfortunately, I can't give individual advice on this channel because this is a general educational resource, not an individual clinical advice video, but please do share any comments regarding your own experiences below to help others and check out the resources from trusted sources in the description box. Thanks for watching.